Hi, I'm Bob. I'm that totally blind guy that happens to like comic books. And I know what you're thinking. How in the heck is this possible? I wanted to take a break from some Star Wars reviews for just a bit. And I wanted to explain that. And I wanted to dedicate this video to the late Norm Spencer. Norm, your voice will always be the voice I hear in my head whenever I think of Cyclops from the X-Men. And speaking of the X-Men, this was how I stumbled across Marvel Comics back in the 90s. As a totally blind 90s kid, I don't think I stumbled across comics in the normal way. I did it through the X-Men animated series TV show on Fox Kids. And I know this is the Disney Plus, uh, not the Disney Plus, the Disney DVD that was uh, released in 2009. You can watch it on Disney Plus though, if you'd like. But yeah, I, uh, I was at my grandparents' house on a Saturday morning in May. I believe I'm filming this video on the anniversary of the of the weekend in which I discovered the X-Men for the first time, by the way. And this guy blares on to the TV in this bombastic voice, and he goes, previously on X-Men, and Till Death Do Us Part, part 2 starts airing. And I fell pretty hard for the Marvel franchise, and I haven't stopped enjoying every bit of it that I can sink my teeth into to this day. And when I went to school that following Monday, I kept going up to different kids and being like, hey, do you know, if I paid you, do you think you could narrate some comic, comic books for me? Do you think if I bought a couple of comics, you could read them on an audio tape or something like that? I was like, hey, do you think they make this comic book in Braille? Do you think they make that comic book in Braille? Of course, they don't make comics in Braille. And as far as I know, they, they just, they can't. It would be a crazy amount of Braille embossing to do. So I... You know, as a 90s kid, if you're not watching Spider-Man, the animated series, or X-Men, the animated series, or Fantastic Four, or Iron Man, um, you know, and if, if, you're, if you're a totally blind kid, you're SOL if you like comics. And I don't know why the heck I fell so hard into that universe, but I'm glad I did. There have been uh, quite a few ways that I've experienced comics over the years, I did mention the TV shows, and I plan on you know going into those more in depth in, in other videos. I also wanted to mention dramatic audio adaptations, and those for those of you who don't really do the audio book thing, full cast dramatic audio adaptations are when actors and actresses go into a studio, they quote you know all the dialogue from scripts that are cleverly adapted to audio format by some really kick butt uh, directors and script writers and I was in a Davis kid about a year later and I was neck deep in Batman the animated series by that point I loved all the figures and all the vehicles I could get my hands on I watched the show religiously every day at 4 30 I think it was and you know Kevin and Kevin Conroy and Mark Hamill will always be the voices I hear in my head when I think of Batman and the Joker. And, you know, we happen across the audiobook section, and my aunt spies this title called Batman Nightfall. And she says it's adapted by a guy named Dirk Maggs, and it's, it's a full cast. I didn't know what that was, but I get it home, and I listen to it for three hours and I get lost in that world and that romp through Gotham City and other parts of of the Batman universe and, and I find this audio adaptation called Batman Legends of Robin and I find out that there's there's a there's a version of a story in which you know a, a, a version of Robin is killed by the Joker and I, I hear Mark Hamill coming coming into the story and providing his you know grade A number one Joker voice and that that's even better I get lost in that, but it, it's not enough. It, it, it wets my Galactus-sized comic book appetite. It, does, it doesn't say it. It, it, uh, it only wets it even more. And I think we have come a reasonable enough way in terms of um, dramatic audio adaptations over the years. Of course, me being biased, I don't think there, there have been enough. I think that 
there's a great demand for comics adapted to audio format. I'm not talking about one person narrating it. I'm talking about full cast productions. If you go to audible.com and you search for The Sandman by Neil Gaiman or Lock and Key by Joe Hill, you are going to see that the sales for those two titles are quite high and the reviews are pretty freaking good. I think Audible should do more of those dramatic audio adaptations of comic books. I think there's a pretty good market for that. I wish to obtain titles from Marvel like the Onslaught arc from X-Men or the Age of Apocalypse arc. There's some great Spider-Man arcs that, that could be adapted for, for, for uh, full cast audio adaptations. I know that there's going to be a Sandman and Lock and Key crossover in comic book format pretty soon. And Audible, if any of you guys are happening to watch this video ever, you need to get on that as soon as you can. I, th I think the book's going to sell well. And I think there's pretty, there's going to be pretty high demand for it in, in all formats. I think we've come, as I said before, we've, we've come a ways in terms of getting comic books adapted to audio, but I think we still have far to go. And I, I'm not saying that as a complaint. I look forward to getting to the point where I can say, you know, I've, I've read quite a bit and I, I'm enjoying what I'm reading, but I mean, we're not quite there yet. I think the Marvel Cinematic Universe, I mean, that's another way in which I am able to experience comic books in a way, especially with the advent of the descriptive audio narration tracks. And for those of you who don't know what that is, that's where, you know, a voice describes everything you're seeing on screen. So that's another way in which I experience comics. And we might go into some of the adaptations I've come across over the years and what I'd like to see coming down the pipeline in a future video. But that's going to be it for today because I don't want to yak at you for too long. And if you like what you see here, click the like button, subscribe, and click the notification button for other videos than just Star Wars reviews. I hope to vlog a little here and there about some of the things I like too. So that will be it for now, and I'll hear you later.